How Newton might interpret gravity was sufficient to permit us to fly from the Earth to the Moon. At any point, we wind up lost in the ticking hands of time, contemplating whether our understanding of it is only the tip of the transient iceberg. On its head, his disclosure isn't a hypothesis. It's a key that could open the doors to the secrets of the universe, uncovering a cosmos more complex and inspiring than we ever thought of imagining. How does Brian Cox's new hypothesis challenge our conventional understanding of time? And what are the possible ramifications for our perception of reality? Join us on a captivating exploration through the annals of time itself as we delve into Brian Cox's recently unveiled groundbreaking hypothesis on the nature of time in the vast universe around us. Secrets are waiting to be uncovered, and some of these mysteries involve perplexing aspects of time and gravity, which are fundamental elements of our reality. Imagine a world where time behaves oddly, it can either slow down or speed up. Additionally, the force that keeps us on the ground might not be what it seems. This is the realm of Albert Einstein's theories of relativity, where our understanding of time and gravity takes an unexpected turn. Albert Einstein, a renowned figure, provided us with a new way of looking at the universe through his theories of relativity. His work laid the foundation for understanding how time behaves under various circumstances, particularly when traveling at extremely high speeds. Everything began in the early 20th century when Einstein proposed two remarkable theories. The special theory of relativity and the general theory of relativity. The special theory of relativity, published in 1905, revolutionized our understanding of space and time. In simple terms, it tells us that the laws of physics remain the same for all observers who aren't accelerating, regardless of their motion. This theory introduces the concept of relativistic effects, including the famous idea that time can dilate or slow down under certain conditions. One fascinating thought experiment used to explain time dilation is the light clock. Imagine being inside a spaceship moving incredibly fast, almost at the speed of light. Inside the spaceship, there's a beam of light bouncing between two mirrors, perpendicular to the direction of motion. According to the laws of physics, the speed of light is constant for all observers, so the light beam must appear to travel a longer diagonal path. Here's the intriguing part. The time it takes for the light beam to complete its journey should be the same for both the observer inside the spaceship and the one outside. However, since the path is longer for the external observer, it seems to take more time for the light to complete its trip. This apparent time difference between the two observers is what Einstein called time dilation. Time slows down for the observer moving relative to the stationary one. Understanding how things change when they move fast, known as relativistic effects, isn't just a theoretical idea. Scientists use large machines called particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider to make particles move at speeds close to that of light. When things move this fast, we must think about time in a unique way to make accurate predictions and calculations. Albert Einstein's special theory of relativity in 1905 changed how we perceive the universe, especially regarding time and motion. This theory challenges our intuitive thinking. It states that the rules of physics are the same for everyone, even if they are not moving. This differs from our everyday experience, where we might assume that if something is already moving and we add more speed, it gets faster. Einstein's theory, however, posits a maximum speed. Nothing can exceed the speed of light. From this perspective, events that seem simultaneous to us might not appear that way to someone moving close to the speed of light. Another result of this theory is length contraction. This means that if something is moving, it looks shorter in the direction it's traveling when viewed from a stationary position. Additionally, Einstein's famous equation emerges from this theory. It shows that energy and mass are interchangeable, which is crucial for understanding how subatomic particles behave at high speeds and phenomena like nuclear reactions. In practical terms, special relativity isn't just a theoretical concept. It's something we use in everyday technologies like GPS. When GPS satellites transmit signals to your device, they are moving, and due to this motion, time behaves slightly differently for them. If we didn't account for this time dilation effect in our GPS calculations, your navigation would be inaccurate. Special relativity teaches us that time isn't the same for everyone and everywhere. It depends on motion. This idea challenges our perception of reality. 
It's like saying our conventional understanding of the universe is slightly off. According to the special theory of relativity, time isn't fixed. It's influenced by motion. Some fundamental concepts like the constancy of the speed of light and the relationship between energy and mass have been proven through numerous experiments. But there's more. Enter Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity from 1915. This theory delves deeper into the relationship between gravity and the structure of the universe. It appends the old idea that gravity is merely a force pulling things from a distance. Instead, it tells us that gravity occurs because space and time are curved or warped. It's like saying, gravity isn't a mysterious force. It's just the natural way things move in the universe. According to Brian Cox, understanding general relativity means thinking of the universe as a four-dimensional construct, combining three. Combining three dimensions of space with one dimension of time into what we call space-time. General relativity shows us that massive objects like planets or stars cause space-time to curve around them, and this curvature is what we perceive as gravity. For example, imagine placing a heavy ball on a stretched-out rubber sheet. The ball causes the sheet to sag, and if you roll a smaller ball across the sheet, it will spiral towards the larger ball not because of any mysterious force but because the sheet itself is curved. This is a simplified analogy of how space-time works in the presence of mass. One of the most astonishing predictions of general relativity is the existence of black holes, regions of space where the curvature of space-time becomes so extreme that nothing, not even light, can escape. These cosmic phenomena have been observed and studied extensively, further validating Einstein's theory. Another groundbreaking consequence of general relativity is the concept of time dilation caused by gravity. Near massive objects, time runs slower compared to regions with weaker gravitational fields. This effect, known as gravitational time dilation, has been confirmed through experiments and observations, such as the precise timing of clocks aboard satellites and measurements near Earth's surface. Brian Cox's hypothesis builds upon Einstein's theories, but challenges our conventional understanding of time even further. Cox suggests that time may not be a singular linear dimension as we typically perceive it. Instead, it could be intertwined with other fundamental aspects of the universe in ways we are only beginning to comprehend. His hypothesis raises questions about the true nature of reality, the flow of time, and the potential for parallel or branching timelines within the fabric of space-time. The implications of this idea are profound. If time is not as linear or consistent as we believe, it could redefine how we approach physics, cosmology, and even philosophy. For instance, it might change how we understand causality, how one event leads to another, and open up new possibilities for exploring the origins and ultimate fate of the universe. Cox's ideas also push us to reconsider our place within the cosmos. If time and gravity are more complex than previously thought, our perception of reality might be just a fragment of a far more intricate and interconnected whole. This realization challenges us to expand our imagination and look beyond the boundaries of traditional science. As we continue to explore the mysteries of time and gravity, technologies like advanced particle accelerators, gravitational wave detectors, and space-based observatories will play a crucial role in testing these groundbreaking ideas. Who knows what secrets the universe holds, waiting to be unveiled? In this era of discovery, theories like those of Einstein and Cox remind us that our understanding of the cosmos is ever-evolving. Each revelation brings us closer to grasping the profound beauty and complexity of the universe, a journey that has only just begun. Aspects of space and time in the system show that enormous things like stars, planets, and even us influence how reality is formed around them. This forming is what we see as gravity. Envision space-time like a stretchy cover. When something weighty like Earth is placed on it it makes an imprint. On the off chance that you put something smaller like a ball close to the Earth, it will move toward the scratch. This is similar to the way objects act due to gravity not a strange power but rather a reaction to the twisting of space-time. It's like the Earth makes a little divot in the space-time cover, and things move according to that dip. This model can precisely predict the paths planets take, including how Earth follows an oval-shaped orbit around the Sun. According to Brian Cox, this is different from the old idea of gravity-pulling objects, which struggle to explain how planets move as they do. 
The groundbreaking idea is that space and time are curved like a bendy fabric, which better fits what we observe. A pivotal moment that proved general relativity was correct occurred during a solar eclipse in 1919. Sir Arthur Eddington led a team to observe how light from distant stars bent as it passed near the sun. According to the theory, the sun's large mass would make the starlight bend slightly. During the eclipse, the observations precisely matched Einstein's predictions, establishing the validity of the theory. Just as motion can change how we experience time, according to special relativity, gravity also affects time. Where gravity is incredibly strong, time moves more slowly compared to areas with weaker gravity. For instance, if you stood near a massive object like a black hole, your clock would tick more slowly than one far away from this immense mass. General relativity also introduces black holes, places where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape. The edge of a black hole is known as the event horizon, akin to a point of no return. Once something crosses this boundary, it gets pulled into the black hole with no chance of returning. Einstein's theory of general relativity has enormous implications for how the universe is structured. Initially, Einstein added something called a cosmological constant to his equations because he thought the universe was unchanging. However, once it was discovered that the universe is expanding, he called this a serious mistake. The concept of an expanding universe, based on general relativity, is a key part of the Big Bang theory, which explains how the universe began. Another significant concept from general relativity is gravitational waves. These are ripples in the fabric of spacetime caused by massive objects moving rapidly, like when black holes or neutron stars merge. In 2015, scientists at the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO, directly detected gravitational waves, further proving Einstein's theory. Over time, scientists have conducted numerous tests to verify general relativity, and each time it has proven correct. Whether observing how planets move, the bending of starlight, or the detection of gravitational waves, the theory has consistently been supported by evidence. While saying gravity is not a force may be surprising, especially since we all experience gravity daily. In the realm of physics, it's common to question and refine existing ideas. Scientists like Brian Cox often challenge established theories. For instance, one idea testing traditional gravity is called modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND. It suggests that gravity behaves differently at slow speeds, especially in galaxies, without requiring dark matter. Instead of adding invisible matter, Mond proposes that gravity becomes stronger at low velocities. The debate about gravity also involves mysterious dark matter and dark energy, introduced to explain certain phenomena in space. Critics argue these are unnecessary and that alternative theories could explain our observations. Some scientists exploring alternatives to Einstein's theory consider ideas involving unknown particles or forces that might enhance our understanding of gravity. It's important to emphasize that in science, new ideas are not dismissed outright. Instead, they are carefully tested to see if they hold up. For instance, Einstein's idea about time in four-dimensional space, where traveling into the past might be limited by the speed of light, has been imaginatively considered alongside concepts like wormholes and shortcuts. Stephen Hawking's chronology protection conjecture suggests that traveling into the past is unlikely from a physics perspective. Continuous studies and observations test whether these new theories can explain phenomena like gravity similarly to what we already know. While alternative ideas are explored, none have convincingly replaced the well-established principles of gravity. Questioning and opposing ideas are crucial parts of how science advances, leading to more research and a better understanding of the universe. In the realm of gravity theories, general relativity remains the most significant and successful. Despite challenges and alternative ideas, it consistently performs well in experiments and explains various phenomena, such as how planets move and how light bends around massive objects. General relativity remains robust because it is both elegant and able to cover a wide range of phenomena. As discussed earlier, Einstein's theory of relativity proposes that time can behave differently based on motion. Let's now explore how this idea impacts real-life situations particularly in space travel. Space travel is exciting but challenging because space is vast. 
According to Einstein's theory, the speed of light is the fastest anything can travel. This makes interstellar travel a significant challenge, even with advanced technology, due to the immense time it would take to reach even the nearest stars. Consider the famous twin paradox to understand what happens with time during space travel. Picture this. One twin stays on Earth, while the other travels to a distant star. When the space-traveling twin returns, they find that less time has passed for them than for their twin on Earth. This means they've effectively traveled into the future. Time is crucial for space travelers because the longer the journey, the more time slows down. If astronauts travel to nearby stars, where time dilation is significant, they might age more slowly than people on Earth. While it might sound like science fiction, it's a real effect predicted by the theory of relativity. Imagine sending a crew to a star system not too far away. Because of the enormous distance, the journey could take many years, even if they travel quickly. For the astronauts on the spaceship, time would feel shorter due to this time dilation effect. However, back on Earth much more time would have passed. Time dilation affects not only living beings but also technology. Computers and communication devices on spacecraft must account for time dilation to ensure accuracy and proper functioning. For example, the Global Positioning System, GPS, relies on precise timing signals from moving satellites. Since these satellites experience time dilation, it's essential to consider these effects for accurate GPS measurements. Ignoring this would significantly impact navigation systems' accuracy. Finally, let's examine why time moves in one direction. Time governs our lives and the universe, moving from the past to the present and into the future. This one-way journey of time is fundamental to our reality. But why does time have this one-way nature? To understand this, we look at entropy, a concept measuring disorder or randomness in a system. Entropy, linked to the arrow of time, tends to increase over time, causing time to flow in one direction. The second law of thermodynamics expresses this relationship, stating that in any isolated system, total entropy will either increase or at best remain constant. In simple terms, entropy naturally tends to grow and doesn't decrease on its own. Observing how things become more disordered around us helps us understand time's one-way flow. For example, imagine a deck of cards neatly arranged. If we shuffle them they become messy and random. This change from order to disorder illustrates how time moves in one direction, as seen in natural phenomena like ice melting or a stirred cup of coffee becoming mixed.